Okay, it's time to start thinking about foundation walls. What I'd like to do is to get started, we're gonna jump into Revit and let's go to structure 10. I wanna make sure I'm in level one structural plans. But what I wanna do right now is temporarily hide the grids. So let's type VG for visibility graphics. I'm gonna to go to annotation categories. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says grids. I'm gonna uncheck that. Click apply, click okay. Perfect. Now I'm gonna to go to my structure tab. I'm gonna click on my wall button. I'm gonna click my drop down and I'm gonna scroll down till it says foundation 12 inch concrete. And I'm gonna grab that. Now I wanna click on edit type. What I can do now is I can actually click the duplicate button. So go ahead and click duplicate. Now I like to go feet and inches. So I'm gonna go foundation one foot dash six inch concrete. And I'm just gonna get rid of that number two that Revit automatically adds. Then I'm gonna click okay. Now to make it one foot six under structure, I'm gonna click on edit. And my thickness is gonna be one space six and hit enter. We can click the preview button and that'll show just a big thick chunk of wall. Let's click okay. Now let's click okay again. Let's pay attention to the properties. So the base constraint, we don't want that. Click the drop down instead of level one, I wanna to go top of footing. Now the base offset, I'm gonna type in zero and hit enter. Let's click apply. What we're going to do now is we're gonna trace the perimeter of the wall. So to do that, we're gonna click on the pick lines button. Let's look at some of our options. Depth, top of footing, like we said here. Location of the line, we do want it to be wall center line. No offset, and we want our walls to join at the corners. So I'm gonna zoom in here. And I'm gonna grab the center line of this wall and I'm gonna pick it. I'm gonna grab the center line of this wall. Remember, we can scroll in really close if we want, and we're gonna pick it. I'm gonna select here and I'm gonna pick it. Click here. I'm gonna pick here. I'm gonna pick this horizontal wall, this vertical wall, and the last wall I'm gonna pick is this wall right here. I'm gonna hit escape a few times. Now I'm gonna zoom out. And I'm gonna to go to a 3D view. Notice that our walls are now appended to level one and then top of footing. Speaking of top of footing, let's go to top of footing in the project browser. So you see the project browser, let's go down to top of footing. Now let's zoom in. Notice that our walls are nice and thick on the outside and it automatically hatches them for us. So there you go, that's how you put in a foundation wall.